Session activation required for permission sets and permission set groups. Going to give you an explanation and a demo. Welcome to another video in the security series. We've talked about permission sets and permission set groups on how they're the best construct for putting in user capabilities. There's this little interesting checkbox called section activation required. It's on the permission set and the permission set group. It's a really neat feature which allows us to take a permission set or permission set group, assign it to a user, but have it not be activated unless some action happens. And that action happens is that we need a little bit of code or a flow that can insert a record and activate that session. So what this can be is if you have a set of permissions to a resource and you want in most of the situations to not grant access, but if for some reason the user is near the asset, let's say in a building, in a room, near something, you can detect that. You can then activate the permission set, which will grant additional access. It'll only last for the duration of the session. So when the user logs out, they're gone, and then that permission set is no longer active. It's still assigned, just not active. So I'm gonna walk through and show you how to do this. So we're gonna use a previous example where we have Paul, the pilot, and they're gonna have a pilot permission set, which gives them view only access to the airport, view only access to the navigation. Um, they're gonna have, we had already in a previous video showed by using a muting group that we muted out a quick little field. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a new permission set, which is gonna grant them access to the runway object. Now this runway object will only be visible when we activate the permission set. That way, um, they won't, and they're, when they're not, let's say, in an airplane, then they won't get access to the runway object. So what we want is a conditional access to the runway object. Now, there is this gear which represents activating. That's a little block of code. There are many ways this can happen. We're just going to run a little bit of anonymous Apex and see, but that's not how you do it in a, in a final solution, but it'll help give the example. So here I have a permission set, STA runway session allowed. And this has this box checked, session activation required. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the object settings and we're gonna scroll down and look for OA runways. And this permission will grant access to a tab, read and all the fields on the runway. Without this permission, and then, so this is a permission set. Now we're gonna to go to the users and we're gonna go look for Paul the pilot. And what I have is this is an activation required permission set. So it is assigned to Paul, but it is not active. It is not active until a little bit of code is fired, but it does need to be assigned to Paul. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Paul without it, and then we're gonna then trigger the code and then take a look at it with it. So here I am logging in with a different browser um, using Paul the Pilot. And you'll notice that the, this is a Paul the Pilot with a stripped down um, profile, and you'll notice that it only has two tabs, OA Airports and OA Navades. And so right now, Paul does not have access to the runways. Now I wrote a little bit of code for Steve TechArc session permission and, and it passes in the name of the permission set. And then what it'll do is it'll query the permission set. It'll then read the current user session and then call this method add to the sessions. Down here, so all I needed from here were two pieces of information, the permission set ID, and that is right here, and I needed the current user session. Then what I do is I create a session permission set activation, and I will insert a new SPSA setting the session ID, the permission set ID, I'm just throwing in a little description created by code and doing the insert. So with this handful of lines of code, it'll read the current user's permission, find the permission set, and activate it. 
Now what I'm gonna do is just for this user special situation, I have enabled the developer console. And what I'm gonna do is execute anonymous and run one line of code. So this class, this method will call on the class I showed you, add the current permission set to the current user, add the P and this gives the name STA runway sessions allowed. So this is gonna find the permission set. Let's take a look right here. Find the permission set, pass it in, create the permission set activation and activate that permission. So this is the browser we're looking at right here. This is the dev console for that browser. And we're going to open the, we're gonna open the log and we're gonna execute. And so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna refresh Paul the Pilot's browser. And you'll notice that OA Runways just became available. And I can now see OA Runways, and now I can see a whole list of available runways. So that permission set, which had session activation required, was assigned to Paul the Pilot, but not enabled and only when a little block of code fired that went, and here it is in the admin, when this little bit of code essentially created a new session per permission set activation, did that grant that access, you know, and turn on and activate that permission set. So if you want to elevate somebody's permissions, grant some additional capabilities, and only do it for a short period of time, you can put it in a permission set or permission set group, you can put session activation required, and then you just need to find a way to trigger that action. When do you want this to happen? You could say, in this case it was, you could be in, in an airplane or in a building and make it available or something else that's a special at that particular situation. You can grant access the permissions that a permission set group kicks in, they have the elevated access that the permission set or permission set group grants them, but the next time they log in, they're dropped back down and that is removed. So it's only activated when you want it. That Hopefully that makes sense, what session activation required means and how to make it work. So enjoy, hope you enjoyed setting the session. Join us again, same bat time, same bat channel. Subscribe to Steve TechArk YouTube channel and www.steve.techArk and have a great day.